when I came home and resurrected my garden, renters never let go to rock and ruin, and things started to bloom. I was so excited, and I thought, well, why not paint flowers? <laughs> They're the right shape and the right color, and uh, they uh, are right there for me. I don't have to leave home. Yeah. So uh, I started doing a lot of drawing, doing some watercolors, and then started going big. Because I felt that, uh, I think Georgia O'Keefe said, when uh, Siglet says it, said to her, you don't want a show of flowers? <laughs> and she said, no one really enjoys how complicated and beautiful flowers are when they're small, when they, they take a look and they only just see the peripheral. And so uh, she wanted to show how really wonderful flowers were. And uh, to his surprise, her <laughs> flowers were very popular and everybody loved them. So uh, I feel the same way that, you know, how often do we really look into the center of a flower and realize realize all the good all the all the beautiful shapes and they're very sensual. You know, they they are about reproduction. <laughs> so so uh, yeah, it's it there's a whole lot more I found a whole lot more there than I thought was going to be there. I didn't want to be that little blue haired lady that was known for painting flowers. <laughs> So I hope my flowers have some strength and uh, so color. Uh, can you, uh, you know, there's every color imaginable, every color in the palette in in the garden, and uh, it gives you really when you're painting, uh, you want something to hang the paint on, an image or an abstract, but you're working with color and you're working with shape. And uh, my shapes were always organic, round or soft. I didn't do any hard edged stripes, <laughs> which a lot of people did. So uh, the garden was perfect.